Mickey could have learned rock tomb as well. Why didn't nobody tell me that? Uh, ah. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are still with us. Yeah. I saw it a bunch. I did tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one said anything. Chat, it's actually everything bad that happened is your fault. And Randy Fishford. Yes. Both of these are mine. Um, how did I get the sound mic going? Great question. What are you doing, dude? Which one are you selling, Mike? Um, I, he mutes it, so it's one of these. Chad, do you hear us on the salad mic? One. Well, I think see. I think that's it. I think that's salad mic. Yes. Okay. I'll read some of those donos. What have we got? I'll uh, move the table. All right. In the meantime, while Ben sets up, I'll read some of this. I don't know how much Ben read. But I'll go through some of these. Uh, Jarticuno23, donate $23. They said, thank you so much for doing this, Ben. Love and respect EZA forever. Thank you. Thank you. Big Link, thanks for the 32. Play B, thanks for the 50. Arcade donated $10. Thank you. Kevin Walker pledged $5. Thanks. Bruno Soros donated... A thousand dollars? Yeah, we had a thousand dollars from Bruno and then fifteen hundred from Jesper. What? Yep. Jesus. Thank you. Holy shit. Uh, Jiggity Diggity, thank you for the eleven months. Jesus Lopez, thanks for the pledge on Patreon for a dollar. Thank you. Uh, Crumb Eyes, thank you for the resub at sixty one. Thank you. Uh, Python Can, thank you for the eight months. Thank you. Matthew, thanks for the pledge on Patreon at 20. Thank you. Sketch, thank you for the pledge of a dollar on Patreon. Uh, Raymond, thank you for the $5 pledge. Mighty Floofy donated 50 bucks. Thank you. Love you guys. Get a few drinks before card game. LOL. Thank you. K Walk, thanks for the $15. Thank you. Uh, Sipio, thank you for the 10. Thank you very much. Uh, Shufa. Shoe Fighters, thanks for the 15 months. Thank you. And Jasper, yes, thank you for the 1500 Patreon. Good lord. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Holy Angel MX, thanks for the 67 months. Uh, Krazid, thanks for the 15 on Patreon. Thank you. Chris, thank you for the dollar pledge. Brysco, thanks for the 48 months. Thank you. Kraz, thanks for the $50 donation. Thank you. Maggie Fryer, thank you for the $5 pledge. Uh, Break at Mo, thanks for the 70 months. Baby Skywalker, I got you earlier. Thank you once again. Liam Walker, thank you also. Project Soul, thank you for those gift subs again. And Pitful of Tokens. Thanks for the seven months. And Yamis, Yam, I set. Thanks for the five months. And Ian S, thanks for the hundred bits. And uh, I can't see your name. Is this anonymous? For gifting 10 subs? If that's anonymous, thank you. If you have your name, I can't see it, but please let me know in chat who that is. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, everybody. All right. It was cursed. Cursed uh, Lishi, thanks. Thank you, cursed Lishi. The Jesper donation was another currency closer to 160. Ah, okay. Thank you. Still fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, we got some Gundams today. 
I don't have my toolkit. I don't know where mine is. I think it's in my house somewhere. We so can I'll be mostly without it. Share. You are building a goof today. I'm building a goof, I was baby. actually looking at a goof also. I'm glad I didn't get it, though. Nice. Yeah, I had this uh, lying around, so. What better time now? I would actually like to finish a Gundam on stream. Be nice. I also, I always forget to use it, so I'll grab it right now. Uh, I will be building just the original Death Scythe, one of my all-time favorites. Just Death Knight, Je Death Scythe, not Death Scythe Hell Custom or whatever. Just Death Scythe, but it's sick. Going back to an old classic. Ooh, ooh, Death Scythe is pretty sick, mm -hmm. dude. Uh, uh, did Elite we change the Pete? stream title and stuff? No, I did not. I will do that. Okay, thank you, Elite Pete. Thanks for the for gifting a sub. Thank you, Elite Pete. Great name. Have I ever built Barbados? No, I should though, because I watched all of Iron Iron Blood Iron Blooded Orphans, so I should build that. I didn't see it where I was where the place I got this though. Shock Don's on the Gundam? Maybe he is. I, Don's a mystery man. Who knows? Duo? Yeah, yeah I, Duo's tight. Anything can be true about Don. Yeah, anything. Duo is tight. Man, you know what's so funny is it's not like there's been any significant time since I last played a Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. I've played through multiple Pokemon games Recently. within the last year. Yeah. And I forgot that you can't have more than one. Like, I just didn't realize that you couldn't have more than one. But it's like, suspecting. probably doesn't really happen very often in a real place. Well, most JRPGs, right, you can multi-status effect yeah. things, yeah. But Pokemon's a baby RPG. Yeah, but now we're playing the adult version. But you're playing the adult version, version. that's true. Adults. Yeah, mental damage through the roof, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bought my box cover would be very good to do. It's good. Uh, we don't have the close-up webcam shot. Is the webcam plugged in? Maybe I can just get it. Goof, baby, oof. Baby goof. That's no Zaku. Baby goof. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know if I continued my line of thought, but I, I've i always wanted to use this spray ever since oh, I saw shit. Kyle use it, uh, because it really makes the Gundam, the finished product, look so much better. I've just, I always forget to use it. Open so don't one. let me forget, chat. Um, yeah. Is the webcam? I know we used one on Monday. I don't really know where it is. Where they put it? I can't find it in whatever. It was on our TV before. And it got moved. It might be in the, um, the podcast room. In the meantime, chat, I'll keep you occupied. What does the spray do? I don't know what it does. <laughs> this is a, a non-articulate answer to your question. It just makes it look cooler. It looks less plasticky, I guess. It gives it more of like a like a matte finish. So it just it doesn't look so. I don't know, it makes it look more expensive than it is, yeah. So I'm excited. So that means that I should treat this really nice and carefully. And that I should I should try to be as professional as possible. Make it a very clean build. When you use the spray, make sure. You, yeah, I think we need to like take it outside to use it because we don't have anywhere good. Yeah, that's we a don't. good point. I'm, I'm the, glad you brought that open up. Open the window in that room or something. I don't know where the hell it is, but whatever. It's fine. Start growing a goatee because you're getting going well so far. I feel like growing out any kind of hair is an awkward process. True. I don't know where it is, chat. We're just gonna hold them up. I think this is yours. If you want that. 
get them. I don't want that. Actually, hold on. Woo! That's it! Alright. Let's get out the parts. Yo, how was the return off? So it was there. fun. It was a good time. It's way easier with another person. Yeah. But uh, you miss out on some story stuff. Gotcha. So it's definitely worth playing through solo. But it's like cool if you get stuck and you can't beat a boss or something. You need some help. All right. Okay. Go, 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 Gundam. Webcam is behind the monitor. Okay. The TV or the computer monitor? I guess the computer monitor. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, there it is. Watch it back here. Left Soul Hackers on 3DS, possibly to prep for Soul Hackers 2 in August. Did love Persona 5, so already on the hurdle of Atlas JRPGs. Nice. Yeah, Soul Hackers 2 looks sick. Soul Hackers 2. That'll be a fun review. I wonder how long that's going to be. Oh, uh, the webcam is behind the left monitor. I got it. Okay. How many teams does Atlas have? I don't know. I really don't. Well, that's decently far. Okay. The height's good. Um, I guess I'll just leave it there for now. We can adjust it if we need to. But for now, I'll just turn it off. Uh, oh. Mitch asks, where do we get that Elden Ring Potman Plus? They sent it to us. They did send it to us, yeah. It's because we're from Software Shills. Yeah, it's because I gave it a high score. Yep. <laughs> Here's your compensation. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. <laughs> Please don't take us seriously. Cash in that from software check yeah, tonight. <laughs> Not a 10 up. Correct. Yeah. Got a life size one if I gave it 11. True. The higher the score, the bigger the pot boy. So, how many hours have you jumped into Elden Ring now, total? Mm, 55, maybe close to 200. Holy shit. Maybe. Dude, that's crazy. Probably like 150 or more. Respect. But I'm done for now. Yeah, I get you. I'll play it. Maybe I'll play on stream like months from now. Once the dust has settled. I'm. Are you like getting burned out at all? I don't want to. No, I mean, I beat I beat it four time. times. Yeah, yeah. I just did everything. I just wonder, like, are and you I... sick of people talking about it? No, I'm okay. not. Nice. I just don't. I want to play other stuff too. Oh, for sure. There's just a lot of games. If I had any, I haven't had any netcode problems with Elden Ring, but like, I, I haven't 
Like, I've been playing online, but I haven't been summoning people, so mm -hmm. I don't know... I guess I can't really answer that question. Yeah. I mean, summoning worked for me, like... But, I don't know. How many, how many innings are there in that room? There's, like, three main ones, and there's, like, very shit, like, slight variants on them. Sick. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! How's the difficulty increase in New Game Plus 2? I never got to New Game Plus 2. I beat three fresh games and one New Game Plus run. So I don't know the scaling. Have you checked out uh, Stranger of Paradise at all? Nope. I want to. Yeah. Badly. I'm playing something else for work right now, and I'm going to play Ghostwire. I'm trying to think of what you're playing for work. I, I can't know. tell you. No, I, I'm sure. Then I will play um, Stranger of Paradise. I will get to it. Without a doubt. Ghostwire is getting weak scores. It's getting like sevens and eights. That's not too weak. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me at all. Sure. <laughs> like, and I say that not as a criticism. Sure. Yeah. I, I like the game. Yeah. I mean, even within one, I feel like got divisive reviews. It sure did. Which it sure did. I certainly would have rated it highly, but. Mm-hmm. It's weird because I think Evil Within 2 is a better game, like just straight up. Mm -hmm. I like Evil Within 1 more. Yeah, sure. I get that. Uh, yeah, I got the platinum. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Oh man, you know what would be like a good just palate cleanser? Mm. Kirby, Kirby. Yeah, Kirby's Kirby. a good palate cleanser, absolutely. Kirby. Friday. Talk about an easy game to go through. It's yeah. just mellow. I don't think I'll die in Kirby. Mm, probably not. Let's see two. Okay. Brad reviewed Tunic, actually, if you want to check out I his I sure on did. It. It's good. I like that game. Kirby Nuzlocke win. Are you reviewing Triangle Strategy or just playing through it? Um... The intention is to review it, but it Triangle Strategy, unfortunately, got placed in this really awkward position, which is a shame because the game is really good, uh, where we didn't get it until launch. We don't get Nintendo games early. Uh, and that, that can really fuck things up. Uh, yep. So I don't know when I'm going to get to it. The current plan right now is to actually review... Rune Factory 5 oh. um, before Triangle Strategy and then go back to Triangle Strategy once Rune Factory 5 is done. But all of that could take a while, which is kind of a bummer. Absolutely. Because the intent with the Rune Factory 5 review, and hopefully this ends up happening, I don't know for sure if it'll happen, is that I will edit that review and VO it. Got it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Don't, none of this is... Written in stone chat, but that's that's where our heads are currently. Plans change, chat. Keep that in mind. Well, or can change. Part of the problem. I'm going to be out of town next week. Oh, so. There you go. Yeah, it's going to eat into things quite a bit. Yeah, that sure will. 
Uh, yeah, I really want to try, try Testament and Strive, Mitch. I'm bummed. I haven't even fucking played Biken yet, which I need to do. Or, um... Biken! Why am I blanking on her name? The previous DLC character before that. Jack, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yes, Jack. Jacko. Jacko. Yeah, the the Rune Factory Five review is definitely like a little passion project. Mm. Lokinen, thanks for the prime. Thank you. Uh, is Brad doing video? If he wants to. Uh, eventually, probably, on something. Depends on time, how much time I have. I would probably want to wait till we get our booth. Sure, yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, have you seen Demon Slayer, Brad? Yes. Oh, nice. I didn't know you I'm watched I'm caught it. up. Okay, cool. So you've watched the entertainment arc as uh -huh. well? Uh-huh. All right. I have not watched that yeah, yet. Yeah, I'm caught up, dude. Sick, dude. That shit's cool. Yeah, I was not prepared for how emotional Lugo Trail was. <laughs> yeah. It caught me off guard. Yeah, it sure does. You were getting the honest to watch Demon Slayer. Kind of. I, I watched season one way before he did, but then he watched it and watched Mugen Train before I did. Mm -hmm. uh, have any of you, have either of you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? No. No, I've I, been actually planning on watching it. Same. Though. Same. I've been thinking about it. Uh, apparently the movie's super hype and that comes out soon. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't seen a single episode of Jujutsu yeah. Kaisen. I'm interested. Man, every time we do Gundam, I want to get into Gundam again. I just <laughs> have no time for it. I watched Iron Blood Orphans like a couple months ago. Oh yeah? That was intense. <laughs> nice. Was it good? Yeah, it was super intense. I watched the first episode of Iron Blood Orphans, I think. Hell yeah. Isn't there a lot of Iron Blood Orphans? Yep. It's nice, dude. It's like 50 or something like that. Respect. I don't know if you were dub or sub on Iron Blood Orphans. Sub? Yeah. I knew the answer. Yeah, I always watch anime and sub. I'll occasionally watch and dub. I'll sure, there's nothing I, wrong I, with I, it. I, I, I flip flop. Ain't I nothing wrong with that. Sub and dub? I just like subs. Oh, absolutely. Man, <laughs> I definitely had, like, this was a long time ago. I definitely had, like, an anime fan moment with my wife. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't like subs. She likes dubs. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted her to watch My Hero Academia with me. Uh, and I think, I think I'd watched the, I think it was, like, season three or something. I'd watched the first two seasons. And she watched the first two seasons on her own. Mm -hmm. And she watched it in dub. And... We were watching it dub, and I was just like, "This is wrong. Like, this is just not. <laughs> this is not how these characters should sound." Yeah. It was like such a. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. This is wrong. This is wrong.
I think it was actually Piccolo as All Might that bothered me the most because it was Piccolo. Oh, sure. I watched Squid Game and Dub, actually. And it's t it's like, its badness was like kind of endearing. Mm. Like, shouldn't like, I'm not going to defend it. Oh man, the sub the sub versus dub debate is the old time. It sure is, yeah. I wish back in my day, I you just watched what you could get. Yeah, I wish more internet debates could be as wholesome as the sub versus dub. Sub versus dub. Man, I really hate the crisps. Man, they mm. fucking brutal. Brutal crisps Something's today out here. Bad. Yeah, there's times they're not crispy. Ghibli has really good dubs, though. Hmm, sure, yeah. yeah. They're, I mean, they're high-budget dubs. They're celebrity dubs. Yeah, yeah, they are. So. Nice, Slyway. Hell yeah. Yeah, they have the budget. Yeah, Armada has a fantastic dub. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sure, sure does. Yeah. Yeah, I liked um, the Persona Five dub. I played it in English, probably because I didn't want to read so much. I can't watch Dragon Ball subbed. I can't. I'm like the opposite of that. I, I, I can't watch it dubbed. I feel like I can watch it either way, but yeah. I grew up with it dubbed. I grew up, like, I yeah. heard Dragon Ball first in Japanese. Going going from Dragon Ball dubbed to subbed was very weird for yeah, me. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Like, when I heard it in English, I was like, what the fuck? Goku doesn't sound right, sub. Sounds damn right to me. Feels feels. Oh, you right. grew up with the sub? Yeah, I I heard Dragon Ball first in Japanese. Interesting. Yeah, because I my introduction to Dragon yeah. Ball was Toonami. It was yeah. Gundam baby. Gundam. Yo, that new Gundam game looks legitimately fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. What's it Maybe. called again? I don't know. Overwatch Gundam. Overwatch Gundam. Gundam Watch. Man, I feel like... I feel like people don't care about Mecha anymore. Like... I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I think Mecha is kind of popular still. Like, I mean, it's like not insanely popular. Like, superheroes dominate. Yeah. Mostly. You need a, a Mecha Shonen. There you go. Yeah, 
it'd be I'd be fascinated to see like what a from software armored core looks like after all this time. I wonder if it'll even be armored core, just a different mech thing. Mm. Like away from the armored core name. Chrome Hounds 2. Man, Gurren Lagann is just such a fun fucking show. Yeah, that show is so sick. I loved that show. Row, row, fight the power. Yeah, I feel like I read Positive Sentiment Story in 86. Man. I don't know how oh, chat oops. does it sometimes, because I feel like... Like, we were just talking about it. Like, there's all these games that I'm trying to play, and, uh -huh. like, they're long, uh -huh. and I feel like I'm dumping all of my time into that. Uh -huh. people, some people in chat, I feel like, caught up on every game, caught up on every anime, watch both subs and dubs. <laughs> yeah, and, like, I respect it. Just I just dedicate, don't know how it's possible. Just dedicate their time. Replaying all their old favorites. You gotta believe. See, like this is this is impressive. Today, after beating Elden Ring yesterday, I've played GT Seven, Returnal, Genshin, and Monster Hunter Rise. Damn. Party. Hey, you got the time, sure. I love that. I did my Animal Crossing dailies. That's enough for today. Yeah, that's fair enough. I don't think Final Fantasy 16 is this year. Uh, I think it'll be spring next year. Mm -hmm. Sure. It could be very wrong. But I think it'll be spring next year. I don't year. know what to think. I have no idea. Could be. Could be. Because what, Forspoken's October isn't, now? Isn't Starfield 2023? Am I misremembering? No, it's, it's this year. Oh. They, they said that last year, so. Okay. It's planned for this year. Who knows? But it was planned. Huh. You'd think we'd see some of that game. E3, I guess. Time. Yeah. I don't know. I guess the turnaround from reveal to release yeah. was pretty tight on Fallout 4. Yeah, they so. do that now, it seems like. Yeah, 11, 11, 22. There you go. That's the plan for now. Who knows? Favorite gun that looks better. Face. Oh, thanks, King of Games. That's a nice second. The King of Games. The King of Fighters. The, the King, King of Games! I'm kind of bummed uh, about EVA this year. What do you mean? Like, what about it? Are you bummed? I, I just... Know. I feel like I'm going to win it too easily. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I. Yeah, that is kind of a bummer. I don't know. Like, I just, where's the challenge, I man? Wish, I wish my competitors would try harder, that's all yeah. I'm saying. Just a little Me bit too. more effort. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ooh. So good. Baby. Am I going to take um, Omega Rugal... The boss fight on stream. I'm sure it would be entertaining. Omega! Like a, like a 12 hour stream. Omega! Let me show this off. Chat. Ben versus JDCR. I just wouldn't want to embarrass JDCR, is all. He seems like a nice guy. So there's chat. Got the chess piece coming together. Looking cool. Love it. Ben's got a nice leg coming in. Got a nice leg. Guess we should show. I'm going so slow. Yeah, you want to show it? Yeah, here. Uh, camera's up here. Here, I'll hold it closer. Get that. Thank you, Brad. Look at this leg. Look at this beautiful leg. Beautiful leg. Look at Good's uh, goof leg. 
Nice blue too. It's a good blue. What's especially funny, chat, is I'm bad at fighting games in general, but I am really bad at King of Fighters, I feel like. The King? The Love king. Fighters. But it's just so much fucking fun. Yeah, Who cares? Man. Who cares? Who cares? Just uh, Toke asked if we will see Zelda this year. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, I think so. Coming out this year? Don't know. Seeing it? Yes. If they delay Zelda to another Switch, I'm going to be so mad. But also, I expect it. It's the Zelda cycle. The Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild. Only Dumb Man knows. Dumb Man, I don't know shit. Um, will I get Sunbreak on Switch? It's actually very funny that you asked that question. My intention is no. My intention is to just play it on PC. But buying both versions seems like something I would do. Yeah. So you never know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> very possible that I will get it on Switch. Just beat Kingdom Hearts 1 for the first time. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. You just opened up a can of worms. You, you're going to go down the rabbit hole. Get ready. It's man. just going to get crazier from here on out. I remember the first time I beat Kingdom Hearts 1, man. That Me was... too. Was it high school? Yeah, I was in high school also. Woo! The ending of Kingdom Hearts 1, just like the whole final area and the final boss and everything, yeah, is it's just pretty hype. fucking sick, man. It's fucking sick. Man, I've only been through Kingdom Hearts 2 once, but I I love Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh my it's god, one, yeah. It's one I really want to so go... Ah, it's one I really want to go uh, to. Play Chain of Memories first, though. Don't play, play, play before two. I've tried to play Chain of Memories multiple times, and yeah, I just drop it. I don't, I don't enjoy playing it that much. But it's crucial for story. Play it on easy. What's your favorite Kingdom Hearts 3 game? Mine's three. Two, th like three, two, and one are my favorites. I feel like I swap between saying Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep. Yeah. I don't know. Two two is not as fresh in my mind because I played through Birth by Sleep before three. Yeah. So it's it's fresher. Yeah. Man, I remember when Kingdom Hearts two came out. Everyone was like, "What the fuck is this shit? Who's this? It rocks yeah. this guy, dude." It was. It was like a. Uh, Raiden from or Raiden from Metal Gear Solid all over again. Yeah. What do I like about three more than two? Uh, the worlds, the combat, and the story. Still got to do the DLC for three, man. Boss fights mostly. If you're into that, sick. But if you're not, probably won't like it. I'm into boss fights. Okay. I get. All the complaints people have about the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. And mm -hmm. maybe I would feel differently if I revisited it. Mm -hmm. But I, I love the mindfuckery of it. Yeah, me too. Me too. The the thing... The, the one criticism I have about Birth by Sleep, I think the thing that holds that game back is the environments are just... I think compromised because of the PSP. Yeah, like of they're course. just not of as course. interesting. As like I go other. back and play the old games, and like they're so small, they're so like, z like, divided by zones and loading screens. It's crazy how like relatively grounded Kingdom Hearts 1 is in comparison to oh, everything sure, that comes yeah, after. Oh sure, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Like the just story, the, the story in just in one. Yeah, you got to you can't crazy. get two nuts right off the bat, yeah. you know? You got to ease them into the madness. Chain of Memory like gets crazy. 2 gets really fucking crazy and it just escalates. 2 gets yeah. Just escalates. Pure escalation.
Like MJS. Yes. Yes. You're not wrong. Uh, MJS S definitely escalates. One is pretty crazy, mm -hmm. though. I guess in comparison, not yeah. so much. But. Yeah, of course Kingdom Hearts 1 has insane shit. It does. It does, But yeah. we're just saying... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It escalates. There's a gradual escalation of insanity. Yes, correct. That's what I'm trying to say. Like being, being in Kingdom Hearts 2, people didn't like it because it is emo. Well, people didn't even know who Roxas was. A lot of people didn't know. Because they didn't play Chain of Memories. People didn't know that game existed. You know, you play Kingdom Hearts 1, you see 2 on PS2, and you're like, oh, the sequel, of course. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know there was a game in between that was, which was on Game Boy Advanced. And like, I don't, I don't like, I don't blame a lot of people for missing that, not knowing who Roxas is, or like, what the hell's going on. Man, you remember the, the period of internet where everybody just made fun of emo kids? Mm -hmm. Like, that was the culture. Yeah. Yep. Someone asked about Yozora. I mean, we don't really know a ton about Yozora. He is the true Noctis. I know that. He is Nomura's true Noctis now. Noctis has fallen from grace and Yozora has become his, his true boy. I love the, like, passive-aggressive... Nomura shit? Yeah. Like that? Oh my yeah. god, I love it. It's so sick. Yeah. He's like, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck what? you. He, he gives them the middle finger and they're like, well, we'll have you direct Kingdom or Final Seven remake now. We're gonna give you like the biggest project ever, and we're not gonna tell you about it. It's like okay. Poor guy. I wish I knew the de like the development like, Jap like getting yeah. stories out of Japanese games is so much harder. Yeah. I wish I knew like what happened. No, they just they just don't. Yeah, they don't share that they kind of stuff share. really. I'm glad I got to at least see Miyazaki in person. Me too. I got to shake his hand. It was so sick. In combat. Man. Yeah. It's all right. One day. One mm. day. Um, this seems like a simple piece to put together, but it's just not clicking. That's how it goes. Oh, boy. I need tiny stickers. Here we go. Thinking of getting 13 Sentinels when it comes to Switch? Please do. I feel cool. like I feel like 13 Sentinels has kind of been forgotten about, which, you know, time. It things like that happen, but 13 Sentinels is so goddamn good. Do you have tweezers? Yeah. I borrow those, please. Uh, my shirt's Final Fantasy 14. Is any ally playing Weird West? Um, I don't really know anything about it, but with that in mind, I have, I have, I would be curious to check it out. Yeah. Immersive Sim. Cool. Yeah, was that a tiny teeny shirt? Yes. <laughs> Exclusive merch. Randy gave it to me himself. He's a big fan of ours. He really liked our reaction to their press conference. Fantasian playthrough win. Here for FF9, like, when it's. I've booted up Fantasian multiple times, and every time I look at it on my phone, I get sad. I don't want to play it on my phone. I want I want to play it. Yeah. That, and I, I want to check out uh, Various Day Life as well. Airplay to your TV? Hmm. I've never done that. I should. I don't have Apple TV. Oh, do I need that to do that? Fantasian is Apple Arcade. Yes. Yeah. For now. Thank you. For now. But yes, I want to play Fantasian. I know that this is annoying to hear from us over and over again, but Jesus fuck, there's just too many games. Yeah, there's too many. And I just keep playing Dead by Daylight. Ah. 
Then you're kind of, I'm kind of hyped for Live Alive. I'm super hyped for Live Alive. Yeah, the game looks cool. Looks wild. The game looks wild. Wild. Is Aiden Chronicles this year? Shit. 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 At this point, I'm calling that backlog retirement games. Oh man, if only. If only. Oh yeah, Xenoblade 3 comes out this year. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Yep. That'll be 80 hours. Yep. I'm gonna have to do a refresh on those stories. Oh, the hell is going on? And Yo, we're feasting, man. I know. We're like, we're like I'm at the already table. Already full. Yeah, we're at the table and we're like, we're full, and then they just keep bringing food. I just ate like steak that was Elden Ring. Yeah. And I'm still full. Yeah, we're gonna die from yeah. overeating. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like Chronicles Three is gonna be insane. You sure will. Let's get fat. <laughs> Let's get fat. Let's get fat, dude. Let's go. Let's stuff ourselves. <clears throat> Man, I think uh, Sir Vorn, they're not talking to me, they're talking to somebody else, but I think they bring up a really good point. And something I have to like constantly remind myself. Like, the anxiety of getting caught up really gets to me, like, all the time. Mm-hmm. It's just not and possible. I, yeah, no, you just need to come down and be like, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. You can't play everything. Um, yeah, I played through... I have, I've I've, I've done, like, three, four hours of the game. I did through the, the whole demo, which was pretty lengthy, um, and I loved it. Yes, I, play, I intend to yes. play more of it. Triangle Strategy? Is that what you're talking about? No, Stranger of Paradise. Oh, okay. Stranger of Paradise. I was like, Triangle Strategy, that's a game I'll get to in the fall. Or winter, when I have time. And they'll announce like a, a fucking PC port right after I buy it. Shit. I just lost a little sticker, but whatever, I guess. I have no Endwalker update, which is depressing. But... Help me think through this chat. I don't think there's anything in April, right? Like I don't, th I don't think there's anything coming out in April. So is that a good month for Endwalker? Don't jinx this man. How's the re well? I'll, yeah, but that's not a huge commitment. Oh, Chrono Cross is April. That's that's a yeah, good point. Yeah, but it's like you don't got to worry about catching up on Chrono Cross. I just want to play it. Yeah, oh, yeah but sure. like you're not wrong at the same time. Like it's not one that you have to like. Yeah, Chrono yeah, Cross, dude. If Jones gets up to, if Jones gets caught up to fourteen before I do, I will. I will jump off a cliff. <laughs> I will. I will. I will jump off a cliff. That's so funny. I swear, I will jump off a cliff. Damn, that'd be so sick. <laughs> so we gotta get caught up in April. Yep. I will finish. I will finish in Walker. You have my word. Yeah, you'll finish it. I will. Yeah, you already started it, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. I will finish in Walker. Don't you, don't you worry, chat. I'll be caught up tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Do retirement Jones fast pass to end Walker. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't hear any of this. Don't encourage him, Chad. Let him go slow. Let him, let him take his time and enjoy it. Yeah, Jones will take his time. Let him take his time and enjoy Jones it. Jones will take his time. Uh, 
How far did Kyle get, chat? I know he was playing. Yeah! You guys should bug Kyle. He's way behind me. Did he wuss out? Yeah! Get on my back, get on Kyle's back. He's way behind me. <laughs> we do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's so Kyle's funny. playing FF6. Oh, is he complaining about Mog again? <laughs> Uh, Axel Cut, thanks, dude. Thanks for the resub. For Eleven months. He barely started Heaven's Word. Oh, okay. Kyle's playing more Fiscus than Huber. Yeah, that's true. Huber's super busy though, too. Huber's not slouching, chat. I'm gonna tell you, chat. The more you bug Huber to play a game, though, he won't want to play it. Same. His mog memory turned out to be a lie. Not surprising. Uh, and with that just still said, I do hope someday Huber can return to Three Houses. Someday. No pressure. No pressure. Of course. No guilt. Just someday. Someday. Did Huber get burned on Monster Hunter? I mean, he... Got to the end. I'm pretty sure. Like he beat it. I don't know. For rise. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe. I don't know. Chat. Let's not turn this into game shaming, unless it's Kyle. Oh, you could try to game shame me all you want, though, chat. I won't have it. Go on, tell me to play something. I won't do it. Unless I want to. Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Can't wait to be the only ally that plays that game. Which game? <laughs> the, the new Fire Emblem Muso. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not playing that. I Play with, Fortnite? I do. With Fire Emblem Three Hopes, I feel like I'm going to be that like kid eating alone at the on, at Yeah, the that's cool. School, yeah. That's cool. Play Apex Legends? Can't do that. Play Div Divinity Ridge 7? I played a lot of that game. Trails of the Sky? I've thought about it. You want to talk about commitments? Yeah. I played Neo 1 and 2, but I've not finished either of them. Those games don't click with me as much as I would like for some reason. I can't put my finger on it. Finish both Neo 1 and 2. Yeah. Boom! Boom! Not the DLC, though, which is sad. They are long. Yes, they are they long. Are, they are super long. They are way longer than you think they're going to be. <laughs> yes, they are extremely long. Uh, yeah, me and Huber played, a, me and Huber played like 30 minutes before I know building. It's cool. Then play our games. Yeah, man. I I don't know if you saw heard, but on the uh, on the Nuzlocke stream, I was like, I really want to finish the Pokedex, and people were into that as well. Man, I gotta say, that Pokemon stream was super chill, and like chat was good. They were very good. Adults. Adults. Yeah, man. I thought about getting Pokemon Arceus at a point. Then they announced the new one, and I was like, well, nope, I'll just wait. I'll wait for your word on that game. Oh, the I'm new, new one. Pokemon? Yeah. Nah, I'm not going to buy that game. Arceus, I'm not. I will say this. You can only have one status effect at a time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I like this question a lot. Uh, ben, I love The Walking Dead, but struggling to get through Season 2 of Fear the Walking Dead. Should I be able to keep trying? I... I I believe I finished season th three of Fear the Walking Dead. And season two definitely dips, I feel like. So I get it. I get where you're coming from. I, I Going off memory here, but I think the end of season two is really good and really exciting. Or maybe I'm thinking the end of season three. One of them. Some season. But I, I do think it picks up. But I also get it. I, I don't think... Like, I enjoy that show. I do. 
I don't think it's so good that you have to feel bad if you if you drop it. Like, no worries, man. I just said fuck it though and started watching season eleven of The Walking Dead. Okay. Uh, only one episode in. Pretty good. All right, there you go. Like surprisingly good. Oh, there's two of these. That's good news. The Negan performance is just too good. It's just too just good. Just too good, man. <laughs> My least favorite hey, thing building Gundams. I'm Negan. I'm in Tekken. Is when you put in a piece incorrectly. Yes, that sucks. Negan from Tekken? Nice. Yeah, I'm Negan from Tekken. It's first. One of the wildest yeah, fighting game crossovers wild. of all time. Insane. It is insane. <laughs> Truly just like a what the fuck yeah. moment. Yeah, that's super wild. Hope the Wine Dead has a strong ending. Man, Wine Dead deserves to be good. It's just it's it's one of those shows though that like I loved so much and got so bad where I was like, I cannot continue. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. I hope season eleven is good. I, I'm enjoying it so far. Noctis for Negan, yeah. Yo, when's that, um, that, uh, Warner Brothers fighting game come out? I want to be Gandalf, dude. What the fuck's that game, chat? I want to stream that for, like, an hour, then we'll be done. Yep, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. Just want to be Gandalf for a few rounds. Uh, man, it's like... It's, it's so weird seeing Arya Stark in that game. Yeah, it sure is. Gandalf too. Are you any hype for that uh, Lord of the Rings television show? Uh, I will watch it. I'm excited. I'm very cautious. So we'll see. I hope it's good. Yeah, I hope it's good, too. I don't know. I'm very know. cautious, but we, I, yeah, I guess we'll see. I want to watch it, but I would not say I'm hyped. Yeah, totally. I get that. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to get. We've barely seen anything of it. Those Hobbit movies are so fucking bad. <laughs> <sighs> I can enjoy them, but yes, I will not deny that they are quite a step down. It is in uh, HG Zaku, yeah. Or not a Zaku, sorry. HG Goof. Oh, it's not a Zaku? It's not a it's Zaku. It's a Goof? It's, it's a Goof. Yeah. Yeah, I'm worried about the Halo show. I was super pumped for it. And mm. then I feel like impressions are like, ah. Apparently they didn't consult the games. Oh. <laughs> Seems like a bad move. Yeah, it's a bad move. It's like a Resident Evil thing to do. For Seems like shit. maybe you should. Yeah. <laughs> Game's important. Cortana looks real weird. Oh, yeah, I saw a screenshot. It looked weird. I was like, why, why do you look like this? Yeah. Why do you do this? The chief armor that in the show looks mm, amazing. That's good. Yeah. It's really good. Get the chief Cortana armor looks right. super weird. That's good, at least. Also, yeah, Master Chief with with a different voice is... Oh, really? It's not no. Chief? Yeah, like, no. the guy? What's frustrating is Cortana's voice is Cortana, but... Uh, Chief, yeah, Chief well, does is Chief a different... take his helmet off a lot or something? I, is that why? I haven't seen the show. Like... Yeah. Seems weird. Yeah. Like, Chief's voice, man. Chief's, Chief's voice is just so essential yeah, to his character. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's... It's a hard thing to get over. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess unless he like takes his helmet off a lot, it's a different actor or something. I guess yeah. I can understand. No, no idea. But though. like, don't take your helmet off a lot, man. <laughs> don't need. Yeah, Chief doesn't need to take his helmet off a lot. Oh man, is he gonna have his? Oh man. Tom Holland is voicing Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. How do you feel about Snake and Kratos being recasted at first? I mean... I, I think Kratos is... I think Kratos is really good. Yeah, he's extremely I good. prefer David Hayter as Snake. Yep. David Hayter as Snake. Yeah, I, I didn't really story. like Kiefer Sutherland I, I actually... I think he's fine, but... Yeah. I feel like I'm I'm less hostile towards oh, of course. Kiefer than others are. I don't like, are. hate it, but I prefer right. David Hayter. It's just, it just it is, felt unnecessary and a weird change to me that didn't need to happen. It's just a, I mean, it is, but it's just a completely different character. Yeah. 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 I think it's just Kojima being on his Hollywood bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, David Hayter's the best. What I will say, though, is I, I, I think it, in terms of performance, I think David Hayter is at his strongest in MGS1. Mm -hmm. I think... I think Hater's performance and it being the best Hater performance, in my opinion, sure. is like why the, it's like a big the best reason. Metal Gear game. It's the be it's also the best Metal Gear game. Not that I think Hater is necessarily like bad as time goes on, but I I don't I don't like him his performance as much in the later games. Mm. Bulldozer, dude, gifting twenty subs. Holy shit, Bulldozer! Thank you. Good lord. Good lord. Thank you, Bulldozer. MGS is pretty close to... Three is pretty close to one. I think one is just so... When I think about... I haven't played one in a long time, but I think about one, and it's just like... So perfect in so many ways. Length. Yeah. Everything, writing, like... I don't know. It, it really is. It's... it's Like, I love all the Metal Gear Solid games. Yeah. Like, I love two, I like 2 a lot. I haven't played 2 in a long time, also. I don't remember a lot from 2 now I think about it. I like 3 a lot. I like 4 a lot. 5 I like, but not as much as I should like it. There's parts about 5 I like. It's like, the gameplay is good. The, really good in 5. The gameplay is the story immaculate sucks. in 5. The, the, the thing that really, like, I think that's, I, I theorize that, like, multiple playthroughs of Phantom Pain would be more enjoyable than your first playthrough, because that first playthrough, you're like, this is the end of MGS... Yeah. He's going to tie everything up, and you're kind of, like, waiting, and you're kind of waiting, and you're kind of waiting, and it doesn't happen. Yeah. So I think once you get that, once you're like, okay, that just doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, Four is the end of MGS for me. Yeah. I know there's, like, uh, Revengeance, but, like, Revengeance is, like, so disconnected from me. It is. And it's, like. It is ex extremely disconnected. Yeah, not to I love say it. that Metal Gear isn't yeah. insane. Yes. But, no. like, Revengeance takes it to a new level. Revenge is so good. Yeah, Revenge is so much fun. Yeah. But, like, I like Raiden. I know some people don't like Raiden. I like Raiden, especially in Revengeance. Yeah. Unhinged. Jack the Ripper! That's so fucking good. Man, one of my, one of the biggest, just, taste disagreements I've ever had with Huber is he just, he can't in fully enjoy Revengeance because it's so different in tone to MGS. Yeah. And I, I respect that. I really do. I just completely disagree. Yeah, I sure. love that it's so different. I do like that it's different. It's still weird to me because four was the end. Sure. But like, I'll, I'll look at it like this: four is the end of Snake. Snake story is the end of four. Yeah. Like the Snake thing. Right in will go on after that, I guess. But it was just kind of weird. I guess you know you spend these games like these fucking Metal Gears or like insane and shit he's like robots are insane to fight and right in you're like just cutting the fucking planet in half yep and i get it it's for the gameplay and it's fun but yeah um four is four is always a tricky game for me because it like the ending to it is incredible right like, some of the... Inarguably, I think, some of the best moments in the series. Mm hmm But there are just things about 4 that stick in my craw in weird ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Totally. Sure wish I could play that on something besides PS3. Yep. Um, yeah, there's, there's a ton of great stuff about 4. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. I think maybe some of the villains aren't as strong. No, that, that, that's, the Beauty that's and the Beast aren't that strong of the, villains. The Beauty and the Beast are a big disappointment for like, me. Like I love the end fight of four. Oh, it's amazing! It's, it's amazing. so good. Yeah, they're but mechanically, yeah. I feel like there are a couple of good fights. Well, really, I'm just thinking of the the one where she like disguises herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the Octo Camo too. Octo Camo. Yeah, fun. mechanically, I think there's some good stuff in four. I just feel like you don't really get to like play around in four mm, all that much. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it, I do. The levels are. I don't know. No, I get it. No, the, but the Beauty and the Beast is, is really disappointing to me because pre-release, I was like, oh, this is going to be, like, Foxhound all over again. Mm -hmm. And I, I love... I, I, that was the three, ones, I guess. One's, like, rogues gallery is unbeatable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess three kind of did the... The Cobra unit, I guess, will be the closest you get oh, to Oh, yeah. It. For sure. Yeah. You're, that's correct, too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, returning to Shadow of Moses in 4, I was like, yeah, was God awesome. damn it. That was awesome. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it goes back to the old graphics, too, doesn't it? When you return to Shadow of Moses? I think so. Moses? You get, like, flashbacks kind of thing. Okay, Fat Man is God tier. He's very good. <laughs> His Man. fight is kind of annoying, but... What's his line? Like, drink and get fat. Some shit like that. Yeah. Some fat Laugh man. and grow fat. Thank you. Some fat man bullshit. Laugh and grow fat. Uh, ben, are you reading any manga or are you anime only? I very much enjoy reading manga. Um, I'm not currently reading any manga. Uh, I have a recommendation. The Fable, it's a saying about a professional assassin as driver. That's got to lay low for a year. It's funny, has interesting subplots, amazing characters, and the art style is kind of unique, and it's more realistic style. No official translation, though, only fan-made, which can be a good thing. Anyway, please check it out if you have some time. 14 volumes of our, our 21 translated so far. Cool. Um, unfortunately, I've got a backlog of reading to do. I was actually really good at reading comics. Uh, Western comics, I was really into it. And Western I, filth. I was pouring through those, and I've fallen behind on that as well um i read the a lo, uh, like a year plus ago i don't remember when it was i read chainsaw man the first Ooh. volume of chainsaw man and thought it was so fucking sick and then i bought all of the other volumes but i just haven't read them yet God. i really want to get back to chainsaw man because i thought chainsaw it was great man. it i think you would really like it brad Cool. Knowing you, yeah. They're making an anime out of it as well. Oh, okay. Ah. Finally, fix that piece. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit. I'm sure this is like a grass is always greener on the other side type mm -hmm. of situation. Mm -hmm. But I feel like growing up, you would just definitely have like dry spells for games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would love that. You know, I would love just being like, for the next three months, there's just not that much shit coming out. Mm -hmm. Go read manga, go watch anime. I don't know, find something else to do. Well, I guess, for me at least, is... I just didn't know, I got, information about games was harder to get, For you know, sure. I didn't know when everything was coming out in an instant. Is this mine or yours? Yeah, these okay. are yours. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a and good point, for sure. I couldn't just buy a game all the time. Yeah. So you just play what you got. Dude, yeah, you just had monthly magazines to mm -hmm. rely on, man, it was the best. Yeah. Game magazines were the pinnacle of... Oh, my God, dude. Game media. Nintendo Power was so it was tight. The, it was the pinnacle. I loved it. It was the best. It 
Who's my team in KO15? I don't really have like a um, like a locked team, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. Terry. Hell yeah. Terry's uh, a hog. Who else do I like? Tim Boga. I like Vanessa. I don't know that I'm good enough to play Vanessa, but I think she's really fun. Um, I like Athena as well. Athena's one. Athena! Which is funny because, like, Athena was, like, my least favorite oh, KOF funny. character. Yeah, that's yeah I, she just annoyed me. But now I like her. Worked out. We got lucky, Athena. Say goodbye! Say goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Cronin's cool and easy. Who else? Cool and easy. Nice. Cool and easy. Man, there's a lot of characters that I enjoy playing in it. Leona's... Leona is one of the sickest characters. Just I, I love Leona's design so much. Just character design, I should say. I don't love that she's a charge character, but... Mm, visually. Visually, she is amazing. Oh, and King, yes, of course, King. Is that the dinosaur guy? No. Um, Who's that guy again? King, King of Dinosaurs. Dinosaur. That guy's tight. Yeah. I love that guy. Or just Dinosaur. That guy's um, fucking sick. Yes, he is, he, is, he is super sick. Yeah, King, of like, course. Why, is he why did I not immediately character? bring up King? Like, my, like my kidding me, bro? King Dinosaur. Like, why isn't he the most popular character? I don't even know if my is the most popular. No, probably. Carrie's probably the most popular. Yeah. When I think King of Fighters, I think Terry and, like, Iori. Stuff like that. When I think of King of Fighters, yeah. Terry, Mai, of course. Yeah. Um, Iori, yep, like you said. Um, Joe, I think of. A lot of the Fatal Fury characters, yeah. Joe, Terry, Andy, my. Has KOF seen any popularity now that, that Terry is in Smash? Um, Good question. I have no idea. King of Fighters seems more popular than it's been a long time, though. Yeah, for sure. KOF 15 was a bump. I, I could be wrong. I'm certainly not the expert here, but I don't... I feel like KOF just doesn't stick in NA, unfortunately. No, it doesn't. Like, it certainly has its fans, yeah. no doubt, but, yeah. Although, that being said, I think Evo will be really good for King of Fighters 15. I think those matches mm -hmm. are going to be so fucking fire. I think it's going to inspire a lot of people to pick it up. I really do. Yeah, I think the netcode is absolutely helpful, yeah. I yeah. think 15 would have been dead in the water if it didn't have Yeah, that absolutely. I think most fighting games will be dead in the water now. Yeah. Um, somebody else asked that earlier. Will I attempt uh, Omega Rugal? I think it'd be funny. Yeah, uh, I don't. I I don't know for sure if I'll stream it, but I think it would be a fun stream. What the hell is that? Omega Rugal? Just get your asshole destroyed, boss fight. Oh, okay. Sounds cool. Do you feel like there's a genre of games that could be more covered than it is? I remember Huber talking about wanting to get back into strategy games. I don't play them myself, but interesting to see them covered more. 
Oh, yeah. There's a many genres that could be covered more. I think... Um, I think mainstream media as a whole is bad at covering strategy games. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely feel like they fall through the cracks mm -hmm. more than most things. Sure. I also feel like mainstream media doesn't give a shit about sports games, but yep. it doesn't matter. Doesn't like, matter. that audience doesn't care about... I definitely think there are a lot of, and you know, of course, of course I'm going to say this, right? Like it's obvious, but I do feel like there are a lot of cool, small Japanese games that just get completely ignored. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Like, like people are not even aware that they exist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. There's just too many games to give like, oh, for sure. Great coverage for a lot of them. A lot of times you have to like specialize in one thing. Yeah. That's what people do, which is That's great. That's what people do, yeah. You, it's it's definitely now a specialist industry. Yeah. Like, man, I wish I could have covered Monarch because that game seemed really cool. Yeah, and it's, it did seem cool. Like, no one cares about that game, and it sucks. Does SMT5 get in their sponsors to that? Or any SMT series remakes you'd like to see? I would love SMT 1 and 2. Yeah. Um, never played 1 and 2 at all. Um, so I remake would love to. The, yeah, remake all three. First three. Guys, coverage journaling got me into Souls games and JRPGs. Excellent. Hell yeah. Have I played Stranger of Paradise? It's very Nomura game. It's a very Nomura game the same way Kingdom Hearts is. No, I haven't played it. I will play it. I don't know if he wrote that game, though. I think he's, like, producer on it. I think Nomura often gets painted too broad on some of his For things. Sure. yeah. Like, obviously, he has influence, and for sure, but... Final Fantasy was crazy before Nomura arrived on the scene. Final Fantasy 1 story is, like, crazy. Um... Fuck, I was gonna say something. What was it? Oh, do any of you have Steam Decks? No, Isla has one. Isla has one. I don't and play handhelds. I am extremely jealous of her. I wish I had a Steam Deck. Like... For... I feel like for most of my career... I was completely neutral. Well, not maybe not completely neutral. Like, I'm sure I, I had some preference one way or the other. Mm -hmm. I think that's a better way to phrase it. But, like, for the most part, I pretty much just played everything on everything. Mm -hmm. And I still do. That's still true. Mm -hmm. But I, like, I like get mad if I don't have something on PC. <laughs> like, I, I, I yeah, vastly sure. prefer to play on yeah, PC. Yeah, everyone's now. got their own preferred platforms. Yeah. It's fine. Yes, I did know about the levels and stuff about Stranger Paradise. I will play that. Uh, Damiani and Huber are streaming that, I think, tomorrow. So, get ready for that. Only true PC gamer, easy, you know, since yesterday. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> what was the context for that even? I don't remember. Oh, because I said it was like the like a peak PC gaming or some shit mm. like that. Team Fortress 2, mm -hmm. right, right, okay. Yeah, I'm going to play. I'm absolutely going to play Stranger Paradise. I just want to play um, Ghostwire first when I have free time. I 
I feel like the trajectory of Ghostwire will be the same as Evil Within. Yeah, me too. Where, like, it won't review that well, but it will build a cult following, and, like, the people that are into it are really into it. Yeah, that's my definitely. That's my theory. Yeah, definitely. My game theory. Yo, anytime you want to stream uh, Team Fortress 2 or like yeah. any ideas. We need um I'd be down. probably get the whole crew make a private game or something. We'll get Chad in there to fill it out. I wanna kill Bloodworth. Cause he won't know what's happening. Actually no one's gonna really know what's happening. <laughs> man, Blood was into Dead by Daylight for a hot minute, yeah. and I wish he still was. He's a busy man. He is a very busy man, yeah. No, no, no shame. But like what we like, Blood. Yes, yeah. yes, Blood. But like what we like. Jeff Grubb has been playing a lot of emulators. Let's do that. Dude. Naughty boy. Dude, I'm going to fucking do that. Yeah, Steam Deck's cool. But I want to I'm have every, well, not every Pokemon game, maybe not the most recent ones, but, like, all the old Pokemon games on my Steam Deck. Mm, I want that so bad. Yeah. Don't tell Nintendo, chat. I bought um, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons on my 3DS recently. Before they go away. Yeah, nice. I don't know where my Oracle Seasons copy is anymore, so I had to buy it. I got, I have my Ages one still, though. I have no idea how heavy the Steam Deck is, unfortunately. I haven't had any hands-on time with it. It was pretty, pretty light. I held it briefly. I know a lot of people are really excited for the play date. That's that's something that I really just don't have any interest in. Yeah, strangely. same. Normally, I'm all over new game tech, but I yeah, that's one I'm just not. Yeah, I don't really care about it. Not for me. Uh, Isla's really excited for it, though, so she'll probably play some of it. This was just a random thought that came to me. So it's okay. It, it's from nowhere, really. But I, because I don't think I've told Chat this, one of the most heartwarming things that has happened at EZA for me is like Kyle, Brandon, and Damiani. You know, they're a Pokemon that only evolve when you trade them. Mm -hmm. And I've gone to each of them, and they've they've let me evolve the the Pokemon, and it's always just so heartwarming. Nice. Like it's just like a nice little, oh thanks guys, thanks for letting me evolve my little Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so cool back in the day with the link cable. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Kyle was the first one that did it, mm -hmm. and then Brandon, and then. It's just so fucking wholesome. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Does your sister like Pokemon? No. she. It's really frustrating because she found my Game Boy Micro mm -hmm. in like a storage garage. Mm -hmm. And I just gave it to her. Mm -hmm. And I bought her... I think I bought her Leaf Green, actually. And I think she played like Pain barely any of it. Yeah. You gotta force her to get into it. She like she's really into Fortnite. That's kind of her, oh, okay. that's kind of her game. Different generation. Yeah. Maybe. I was I was Fortnite's sad. I, I hoped she really got it. Yeah. Fun. But it's okay. She doesn't have to like the same things that I like. But but <laughs> but but.
It would be really cool if she did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even more of a bummer? Is like, my wife and I play games together all the time. Mm -hmm. She thinks Pokemon is the most boring shit in the oh, world. Oh no, dude. Like, she thinks they're cute, but the she cannot... She is not into the gameplay of Dude, Pokemon. Okay, you want to something that wounded me with Kristen? Yeah. When Valkyrie Chronicles 4 came out. Yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. Yeah. And she's like, it was awesome. She's like, this looks ugly. I was like, what? No. And she's like, this looks dumb. Obviously. I was like, no, what? Obviously, this is just my own opinion. But for all the things that you could come at, for to Valkyria Chronicles at? She was not into it, dude. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, she's like, what? She's like, I don't like the way it looks. I was like, no. No, it's so cool, though. She's like, nah. I'm like, oh. Can't win them all, dude. Can't I, win them I, all. I, I, Brett, I just randomly think about Valkyria Chronicles 4 sometimes. I had so much fucking fun with yeah, that game. So fun. And that series is dead in the ground, and it Again. fucking sucked. Yeah, Again. it's... I blame chat. They didn't buy it. I blame chat. And Randy Pitchford. Yeah, me too. That's surprising because I feel like Kristen usually has pretty good taste. Yeah, I was I was that surprised. Hurts. Kristen does like janky MMOs. She likes old school RuneScape. <laughs> Got into Valkyrie Chronicles last year all because of you. That makes me very happy. Yes. Cool. I think that was one of the first games I streamed with Damiani. Just me and him was the PC port of the first game. Mm. Sick. I, um... My game trailer streams were like an hour. <laughs> I remember, they're so short. Different era. Yeah. I uh, played a lot of Fuck Here Chronicles 4 over winter break. Mm -hmm. and it was just the coziest thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. So cozy. Um, you know, Cuckoo Malu, that is a great question because I really want to play more Lost Ark. I really enjoy that game. I At this point, I just don't know when I'm going to fit it in. It's like, the I just, same story for us every time. Yeah, like, well, no, because there, I feel like there are just other things that I would probably prioritize yeah. ahead of it. Like, Same. Elden Ring, top of the list, Stranger Paradise, Final Fantasy XIV, so I just don't know when I'm going to get caught up in Lost Ark. I just don't know when yeah. it's going to happen. But yeah, I really enjoy that game. <sighs> Questing could be better, but the dungeons are sick as hell. Mm. How's that new PSO2 expansion? Ouch, man. <laughs> Ouch, man. Ouchies. Right in the feels, dude. Yeah. You were so excited when that game got announced. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, what happened with that game, and what happened with New Genesis specifically, I was playing it on my old computer, mm -hmm. and I feel like both on Xbox Series X and on the computer... Maybe not Xbox Series X, but I definitely remember the computer. The performance was terrible. Ooh. Like, to the point where I couldn't play it. Ooh. Like, it was just really ooh, stuttery. Ooh, ooh. And no matter what I did, I couldn't fi fix it. That's not good. Um, maybe on my new computer, it wouldn't be as much of a problem. But, yeah, man. Yeah, that's I, bad. I feel, feel like I just... I was at a crossroads. It's like, choose 14 or New Genesis. You right. I chose 14. You chose, you chose right. I chose 14. Correct. Move.
Look at this goof shoulder, chat. Here, I'll Man, that's a good shoulder. Yeah. Look at this. This is like orc armor. Yeah. Orc. Oh, I have probably changed it. You have to push it on there and show, have it show up. Fucking play more of chat. Grand Turismo Seven. Oh shit! Yeah, Grand I'd like to Turismo play that too. Fucking Seven. I'll I'll pick it up when it's on sale sometime. That's when I'll get to it. But anyway, I'll see you all tonight when I play more Dead by Daylight. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Nice arm or leg. <laughs> oh, I will definitely play through Kirby. One, because I want to play through Kirby, but also my wife is The super Kirby hype excited. in this office is like... Yeah, no, I will, I will definitely play Extremely high. Kirby. Surprisingly yeah. high. Don't you worry. But the next time you see me, I might be done with Kirby. Well, wait, no, you're gonna see me tomorrow. All right, after this week. Yeah, the maybe next time you see me. Do you like uh, Ringu and DVD Ben? It's been a while since the killer scared me. I do. I do really like her. She's super fun to play. Uh, Sadako is really, really fun to play. Having a blast. The only thing that I don't like about the new chapter is, and I, I feel like it's already gotten better, but it was like every other match you're playing against her and it just kind of got like okay uh, like it was just too much of her because she's new but um yeah she's really fun i feel like people are saying she's not that good i think she's pretty fucking good like if the team doesn't play optimally it's so easy to fuck them up You remember Overwatch, dude? Yeah, I do. That game was special for a bit. It just feels like it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it was like a phenomenon at yeah. a point. Then it's just like, it's dead. It's just fucking dead, dude. Your take on reviewing Kirby has been stuck in my mind. You said it's hard to review because a lot of it just... Well, it made me happy. Yeah. Yeah, I... I do think it would be hard to review. Because you could be like, oh, it's too easy, but you're like, why? It, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If there's anything that should be too easy, it's Kirby. Mm -hmm. A lot of reviews that say it's too easy. I, like... I get it. They're probably not wrong, but it's just like, what did you expect? This is this is what it's going for. I expect Kirby to evolve. And did be. I think Blood is reviewing Kirby, but it might be Damiani, I don't know. It ain't me. It's not my list easy. No, like, chat, sorry for the self-promotion, but go watch the my Kirby demo stream. I had a blast. I had a blast. I think that game is extremely well designed. It was super, super fun. Super fun stream. If you're curious about Kirby, you want to know why people are excited about Forgotten Land, that stream was a fun time.
What was neat about that stream too is I feel like with the the way that like powers can evolve and stuff, like yes, it's easy, but it's also fun to play around with. Also, mm -hmm. it has witch time. <laughs> it does. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it, you don't need it. But it's <laughs> just fucking there. Whatever. It's just, it is. It's just fucking there. Yeah, yeah it's just there. It's like okay. All right, Kerb, what are you looking for? There was a piece that I had on the table, and now I don't know where it is. It's a very small piece, so it might uh -oh. be on the ground. I feel like every Gundam stream I drop a piece yeah. on the ground. Yeah, oh, it's a sticker ready to about it. Oh, right, the hand. I should build that. Boop. 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 Sorry. Fucking it up. I'm mostly worried about Pop Boy. Fragile boy. Fragile. Don't want him to explode. Just want to kill him though, like explode. Okay, I see what happened. I figured it out. Nice. Case solved. Yes, now I just have to annoyingly separate a piece again. Hooray. Hooray. Hooray! Chad, are you excited to watch me win Avil? Like, are you stoked? Are you fucking stoked, Are chat? You fucking stoked. Should be. Son of a bitch. Do you have a favorite Gundam you've built during these streams? What a great question. I don't remember all that we've built. I don't know. Oh, dude, I know. I do remember it. Really early days. I built the Death Scythe Hell Custom I from Endless I feel like Walls. I remember that, yeah. I actually had it displayed and it got knocked over and broke. Oh. Uh, like, okay. Well, so be it. But it's like, well, I just built it in like five years. It's fine. I actually looked at my heavy arms today, and it looks sick. I cool. still have it. I can. Uh oh, that didn't seem good. Runt row raggy. <sighs> Butterfingers Ben. Okay. No, we're good. I got it. I got the piece. I got save. the piece. Save, 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 save. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Woo! Come on! I feel like, Brad, if you put the time in, you'd be super good at fighting games. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a natural anything. I have to work at it. For sure. But, like, I, I used to play fight. I used to play fighting games a lot when I was younger, but... Those days are behind me. Man, one of my favorite moments playing fighting games is, like, having... I was super young. Like, this was, like... 2000, 2001, I don't know, like, long time ago. Had my friends that were playing Marvel vs. Capcom 1 mm -hmm. on the Dreamcast, mm -hmm. not knowing how to do any of the moves, yeah. and, like, freaking Very out when they accidentally happened. Like, yeah. dude, how'd you do that? Yeah. Yep. 
Definitely happened a lot. Oh, I loved that. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I just yeah. fucking mashing. I just did. Yeah. I just did the same. I made the same mistake twice. God fucking damn it. Really enjoyed the Gun and Moose streams in the 360 area. I feel like I briefly <laughs> checked those out. I would actually be interested in going back to those. I remember the PS3 one that came out. Yeah. It wasn't Gundam Battle Assault. What was it? it was... I don't know. I just remember when it came out. Chat. I kind of always want to be playing a Muso, just like That's true. in you the do. background. You do. Yeah, I do. I do just kind of want to always be playing a Muso. Oh, dude, Project Soul. Playing Tekken, Tekken Tag 1, absolutely one of my fondest growing up fighting game memories. Played the shit out of that for like years with people. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. One of the best fighting game soundtracks of all time. Man. Fucking. Tekken Tag 1 was definitely one of those games where, like, you'd invite your friends over and, like, they wouldn't know how to do anything and you're like, oh, man, I know this one cheese move and just, yeah. like, steamrolling them. Yeah. It's great. None of my friends growing up really had Tekken, so I didn't play it a lot. I played it at the arcade some, but I didn't really play it at someone's house. Mm. Played a lot of MVC2. There was a lot of hype around Tekken 3, but Tekken Tag Tournament was really the one where, like, I dove in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Axel. Rest up, dude. Soul Calibur 2 was Yeah, huge. I definitely played a lot of that. Yeah. Definitely, dude. I didn't play Soul Calibur 1 until, like, much later mm -hmm. in life. Like, maybe not until... Well, not maybe not until. I think until the it released on XBLA. But, yeah, Soul Calibur 2 was a big deal, for sure. I haven't seen Turning Red. I've seen Turning Red. Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Watch. Do you have Disney Plus already? Sure. I used to see like everything Disney slash Pixar put mm -hmm. out, and I just don't anymore. Yeah, well, there's too much shit to watch already. What was so cool about Soul Calibur Two is. It was one of those games that I feel like everyone liked. Like, I don't know yeah. anyone that had a bad time. Regardless of your skill level, I feel like everyone, everyone liked Soul Calibur 2. Everyone loved Soul Calibur 2, absolutely, yeah. dude. Like, everyone had fun with it. It was so sick. Yep, absolutely loved Soul Calibur 2. It actually makes me sad that I wish I wish Soul Calibur Six was a bigger deal. Wasn't the online bad? Yeah, the online was bad. Yeah, yeah death. Yeah, the online was bad. What year did that come out? Twenty nine? Eighteen? Nineteen? Twenty nineteen, I believe. I've never, <laughs> I've weirdly never played Soul Calibur Three. I played some of it with Mike back in the day, I remember. Played Soul Calibur 4, though. Yeah. And 5. Mike used to be really into Soul Calibur. I feel, you know what's great about Soul Calibur? I feel like everyone's, like... Kind of cheap and annoying to fight against. Yeah. Like, somebody just mentioned Killick, and it's like, man, Killick can be really annoying. But, my, like, everybody's kind of annoying. My friend was a Voldo main. Voldo is super, super annoying, annoying to fight against. <laughs> I remember, yeah. dude, I was like, you son of a bitch, dude. No, Voldo, Voldo is super annoying to fight against. Yeah, he's awesome, though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Don does love Soul Calibur. Yeah. Don really likes fighting games. I feel like he just... 
Doesn't get to express that very often. Yeah, he loves Mortal Kombat, I know. He loves Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat, yeah, for sure. Like, whenever 11 gets announced, Don's going to be pumped. 12, but yes. 12. Yes, 12. I forgot how many Mortal Kombat's there are now. 10 lashes. Ouch. You know, I'll take those lashes. It's all right. We need a joint Don and Ben's dojo. That would actually be really fun to do for MK12 if Don is down. I was say, I think you can maybe pull it off for 12. Yeah, I think um, I think going chance. through the story mode with him, we, we would have a riot of a time. Mm -hmm. We would laugh so hard. It'd mm -hmm. be great. Um, and Huber as well. I know he's obviously yeah, super into Mortal Kombat, yeah. Mortal Kombat, yeah. If I'm going to enter Evo, we need to bust open those dojo doors soon, Chad. <laughs> yeah. Better start <laughs> dusting off that gi. We're in bad shape. What are you going to do, strive? I don't know. I really want... I, I should not. I have no business KOF. entering KOF. I, I, I truly do not. I have no business entering KOF. But I want to because it's fun. Um, and maybe strive. I I fucking love strive so much, so maybe strive. Those would be the two. Yeah. I'm entering Dive Kick. Dude, I haven't played Dive Kick in so long. <laughs> that sounds really fun. Yeah, we should play Dive Kick. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like the perfect game to play for like 30 minutes and bullshit. Yeah. There's value in that. Sometimes you just go to and it's fine. Absolutely. I'm just happy to be there. Truly. Just happy to be there. I'm just happy to be there. Th that's the thing, chat. Like... I am an extremely competitive person. I am. I don't like losing. But with Evo, it's like I, I know I'm going to lose. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Although in the moment, Serious I might be time. like I might be like a Serious time. Yeah. I might it might be like, ah oh, man, I could have done that, I could have done that. I might I might be a little salty. I feel like I can get over it pretty quick. Yeah, I wanna see you rage at Evo, like flip a table over. This is <laughs> bullshit, man! Fucking cheap. You just gonna sweep all day? Yeah. Is that why Ben didn't play chess? No, I... I... I wouldn't even say it's that I don't have any interest in chess. I just have no fucking idea what I'm doing in chess. Yeah. like That's I really didn't, all it is. I didn't even know what castling, like they were doing this castling. Yeah. Like, what is this? I've never even seen this. I just, I just don't feel like I would be good to watch play chess. I don't know. Uh, but I, I, like I played, the last time I played chess was probably like with my dad when I was 11. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, really good question, Project Soul. Very thoughtful question. Uh, since you mentioned being competitive, has some of that competitiveness translated to hard games like Souls games and less into competitive multiplayer games? For me, it has. 100%. You hit the nail on the head, Project Soul. Um, you should watch me play any Souls game. I just... I just beat my head. I just... <laughs> like, I'm just... It's just like, again, 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 you know. Yeah, um, Mark's all, Mark's all. Yeah, I... I for sure, it's translated. Yeah, I've never, I've never been a very competitive person ever. I just usually just don't care. I'll put in the effort, though. Like, I won't for sure. roll over. Yeah. But, like, if I lose, it's like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, man, I wish I could be like that. I, I think that's a super healthy way to do it. Yeah, it's just... You know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm so competitive, and I, I like, it's, it's to a fault, admittedly. Like, I, I know it's bad. Like, when I go home, my wife's family loves to play card games. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, it's the chillest. No one cares, but, like, I care. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, man. Like, it, it, it's just, like, why, why do you care if you lose in a family mm -hmm. card game? It's so bad. 
You know what I think? I'm like the the only time I want to win, Ben, is if I know if I beat someone, they get really upset. Oh yeah. That's like that's when I'll want to win. Nice. Just to upset someone. <laughs> it's just funny to me. So I'll keep that in the mind in the future when I play you. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, I've, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I have I feel like I've definitely... It used to bother me more when oh, I would sure. lose, like, Alice tournaments, but I feel like I've, I've gotten pretty chill yeah, with it. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. Got credits in old ring, 55 so you don't need to be competitive. I'm not trying to be! Um, it was so funny because my little niece, who's absolutely adorable, mm -hmm. um, she just doesn't have video games in her house, and so mm -hmm. I had my Switch, and she, like, really gravitated to it, and she's like, what's this? And we played Mario Kart, it was mm -hmm. so much fun. Mm -hmm. And then we played Mario Party, mm -hmm. and it was just it was just too much for her. Yeah, and I felt definitely. bad, she just couldn't handle it. Yeah, And I just got to a point where it's just like, you just want me to do that for you? And she's like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, my niece is like five, and I've definitely helped her on stuff. And like, she likes uh, New Super Mario Brothers. She likes Toad. Oh, nice, that's cool. The biggest struggle has been teaching her to move and jump at the same time to like keep momentum. Oh keep moving. man! Keep moving! Don't stop! Keep moving! Keep moving! Yeah, that that really resonates with me because my little niece. I feel like she would just forget to move yeah. the left analog stick, yeah. and she she just would like stare at the screen watching the other characters mm -hmm. move. It's so funny, it's so adorable. Ten-year-old nephew smokes me now in most video games. It happens. Kids can get good. I definitely realize that that is a problem for most people, but considering I'm the best gamer in the world, yeah. it'll never happen to me. I ain't losing to a ten-year-old. Being the shit out of him in any game. In all seriousness, though, yeah, no, my time is numbered. Only matter of time. Only matter of time, dude. That's when we play single player games. <laughs> <laughs> My time is numbered. Yeah. Man, I, I watch Twitch all the time, you know? And yeah. it's just like, it blows me away, like, how good at games some people are. Like, I, I know myself pretty well. Like, mm -hmm. I can definitely be pretty decent at games. Mm hmm for sure. Like, I can I can pretty, like, competently handle almost anything. Yeah. But some of these people I watch, it's just like, man, I've been playing my video games my whole life, and I'm not even close to this. Well, you, you know? gotta think about a lot of people you probably watch, you know, they play one game, for two sure. games. Yeah. That's about it. Like, imagine if you just played King of Fighters yeah. for, like, years. And that was yeah. it. Or just fighting games in general. That would be pretty... Yeah, that, that's the thing, is I just want to play too much stuff. Yeah, that's just the reality of it. But yeah, obviously some people just have natural talent. For sure. Specific game mechan game or mechanic that's the easiest to get you mad. To get me mad? Uh, specific game or mechanic. Um, what do I enjoy the least? It's a good question, and I feel like I should be able to answer this. Mad? I don't know about yeah. mad. Um. Wonky hitboxes definitely yeah. piss me off. 
I guess like some RNG could be annoying. Yeah, RNG is a really good answer for sure. I, boy, there would be times where I would just rage at Hearth, like rage at yeah, Hearthstone because that of RNG. Sucks. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Yeah, good pick. Yeah, RNG can suck. Um, I guess a recent example, the nurse in Dead by Daylight really annoys me because she just doesn't obey the rules of the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, this is straight up bullshit. Yeah. I haven't gotten like mad that I can like recall in a long time in a game. Like mad at a game, I guess. Bad camera is a good yeah. thing to say. I, sure. I agree with you, uh, Vic Radler, but I feel like it happens way less than it used to. Like, there are definitely moments where I'll have a bad camera, but I, I feel like it's not a constant problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know. Yeah, definitely. Feels rare for me, too, in that sense. Last time you played a game that had a bad camera. Like all around bad or just moments? There are moments where I feel like the Elden Ring camera oh, fucks me. Oh, of course. But... Yeah, of course. There's always moments. I think in just about every game, I feel like <laughs> I run into a problem with the camera. I'm like, uh, all right. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I, I know it's definitely happened like recently, but I. Uh, ben, are you ever going to continue the 14 streams again? Love those streams. Glad you bring that up, Keen Bean. I get really self-conscious about the 14 streams. Don't. Because I worry that, like, for as excellent as that game is, and it is excellent, I worry that the streams are just boring to watch. Mm. Um, so I... That, that I could relate to. That and... Um, I don't want to get spoiled. Uh, yeah, that's true. Plus, and I've said this before, I, I I just don't focus very well when I stream, and so I'm worried that I'm going to miss out on yeah, some story stuff. Yeah, it's really... Fo like, you lose focus no matter what when you're streaming, I feel like. Yeah. You lose, like, 20% focus. But I, it's awesome to hear that you liked those streams, for sure. <laughs> streaming seems a lot harder than one would think. It's, I'm sure this is not true for everybody. Maybe it's just, like, me. But for sure, streaming is, like, weirdly difficult in ways that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. It's made me realize that, like, I'm fucking terrible at being a multitasker. <laughs> like, I'm worse at having conversations on stream because I'm playing a game. I'm worse at playing the game. Like, it's just, uh, just like, mistakes that I like, feel like I would never make. I feel like building a Gundam here takes me, like, four times longer. At, ten times longer. Yeah, it's yeah. just, like, I'm so slow. Yeah, no, I, and I'm sure a lot of it just comes down to practice, but, yeah, I feel like an idiot building Gundams, and I feel like I, I'm sure I would run into some of the same problems, but not nearly as much. If you don't want to get spoiled, honestly, Ben, make chat sub only for the 14 streams. It's not a bad move. It's not a bad move. Um, you have the power. What I think is really cool, it's kind of like a, what I was talking about with Pokemon, where it was, I was like, man, you guys just like love Pokemon, and that's sick, and I really vibe with that. You guys just love 14. Like sure you, do. you just love it, and I think that's so sick, and you just like... You just want to share it with people, and you just want to see them go through moments that you know are going to be sick, and I think that's so cool. You know what's easy about that is that 14 is a good game. Yes. It's hard to share something with people when you know it's not the best. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you just think it's neat. Yeah. You just think it's, it's, it's awesome. It's like me with uh, Final Fantasy IV, or XI. I'm like, I love it. It's neat. Yeah. But boys are rough. Yeah. Woof. I get you. Shield 
It's so cool that 14 got into Holy Greats. It totally deserves it. Yeah, it's fucking unhinged pull from Domiani. Fucking thermal nuclear dude pull. This is a completely ridiculous and not realistic ask, but I feel like the voice acting is so good in 14 that I wish everything was voiced. Yeah, me too. Which is ridiculous to say, but... I do wish it was true. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too, dude. Spare no expense. Elder Ring Spoilmo with Distortion 2? Sure. With Distortion? That'd be awesome. He's probably too busy streaming 16 hours a day like a madman. And yeah. Frank, he probably doesn't know who we are. But we could, we could always reach out. Sure, why the hell not? We can reach out. Why the hell not? Ask him. But, at the same time, we probably already have a lot of us that are going to be on it. I feel like I've been enjoying streaming more recently. Mm -hmm. But, like, people that exclusively stream, where they do, like, 12-hour days, like, five days in a row, I'm just like, I don't know how you do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. I feel like you just run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh boy, these legs look complex. Uh chat. How has Easy X been for you so far? Have you enjoyed have you enjoyed the streams? Thanks for hanging out, Cosmic Elena. Yeah, thanks. Hell yeah. What has been your favorite part so far? So far? I know people really liked chess. Mm -hmm. I think people liked all the greats. Um, what else have we done? <laughs> uh, chess, nice. What did we do the first thing? Mario Kart. Uh, you guys did that quiz thing yesterday. Shit, what did we do? Oh, me and you played Returnal today. Yeah. Uh, Ben's in Endwalker right now. Yeah, I'm at the beginning of Endwalker is where I'm at for 14. Yep, 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 yep. <gasps> uh, man, I'm glad people liked the quiz stuff. I had a lot of fun with that, but I was Pokemon like, I can see again. this being annoying. Yeah. I want another crack at naming all 151. Let's go. <laughs> Not right now, of course, but. Oh, yeah, we did Default Day or Default Day oh, yeah. Giga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got uh, tomorrow? I'm I'm not really streaming um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is I know Damian and Huber are <laughs> doing um, Stranger Paradise. Paradise. That'll be good, dude. Which starts at two p.m. Oh, Mysterious Monsters airs out noon. Oh shit! That's high. Yeah. Then uh, Stranger Paradise at two, and the podcast is at. Five, our time, and I think they're going to try to do that live. I will be on that podcast. Yep. Then after that, it's Russian Fishing. Four. It's Friday. Oh, shit. Friday's packed, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. The food review with me and Don on Friday. Hell, yeah. I got to coordinate more with him. GT7 split screen versus blood. 
Blood's gonna annihilate Yeah, then it's KOF versus you. Yep. Then Chocobo GP, dude! Chocobo GP. I'm excited for you guys to see that. I know, game. I'm excited, dude. And Trash Baby's Ultimate. The game's a secret, but we know what it is. It's kind of crazy how many of the allies are, like, super into Final Fantasy. Yeah. You, me. Huber. I'd say you, me, and um, Damian are probably the most. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, even Brennan and Blood are I mean, into it. everyone yeah. likes Every Final Fantasy. For sure. Everyone. Yeah. But I would just say you, me, and Damian are probably the, For the sure. three most enthusiastic about it. For sure. Yeah, I think there's a Final Fantasy for everyone. Absolutely. Oh, PC, that's really cool. This is, this comic got me. Wait, Damiani likes Final Fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Are you hyped for the Turtles collection? Yeah, good thing to bring up. For sure, man. Yeah. That'll oh, the Longer Collection? Yeah, it'll be a good time. Although... He was extremely hyped. Not to make this bittersweet, but... I was so fucking stoked for uh, the Castlevania Advance Collection, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I just have not had... I've just not been able to put a lot of time into it. Ooh, yeah. I beat yeah. two of them. Two nice. out of three. Nice. Man, I was craving some Castlevania last night, man. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, yeah, Castlevania... Shit. Oh no, I can fix this actually. One of the best turtle games for me? Um, I probably have the most nostalgia for the arcade game because it was like a Chuck E. Cheese and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the, the NES arcade game. I think it was Turtles 2 on NES, maybe. But that's one I had. My neighbor had the Turtles 1, the side-scrolling one. And obviously, Turtles in Time, I played a lot. Neighbor had that, or a friend. Turtles in Time is a weird game for me because I feel like I've played it a lot, mm -hmm. or at least a decent amount, but like I don't really remember it that well. Oh, okay. Like my, it's very f fuzzy for yeah, me. I remember that game. I remember playing that shit. Where's this piece? Don't you surf on? Yeah, you like right. Boards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It'll be, it'll be fun to. But to be fair, you do that in a lot. Play it in the collection. Yeah. I think it's the arcade version. Well, it's gonna have like all the versions. What in tarnation? What in tarnation? Damn it, Bobby! Look at my PC parts. You guys still talk to Matt Blair? I have not talked to, I Matt, not Blair, talked to Matt Blair in a long time. Um, since the game trailer stage, yeah. I think. Hope he's doing well. Yeah. Man, Zio VGM, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I thought, the t as a kid, I thought the Tiny Toons game was sick. I I don't know if it's as good as I remember. Which one? Uh, I had many. a Genesis growing up, okay. so it was probably Tiny Toons on Genesis, but I thought it was really fun. Yeah, there's many. I yeah. The movement was good. There's one I definitely remember on Super Nintendo that was fun. Yeah, I could be remembering the Super Nintendo version. I don't know. Um, it was a platforming game. Yep. I remember um, renting the sports one, too. You play, like, sports. Never played that. I don't know why I rented that. It's been a bad week for games. It's funny, though, because 
I remember Mega Man Soccer being awesome, mm-hmm. and then we played it at an uh, yeah, Easy not. Living, and it was not awesome. Yeah, not awesome. <laughs> it was not. It's really not. Oh, that one didn't. That Here one didn't hold cool, up. But yeah. Yo, where's the new fucking Mega Man? Good question. Dude. Where is it? Good question. Probably got scrapped to make another Resident Evil game. Too real, man. Thanks, Flip Plamper, for joining us. Dude, I booted up uh, X5 last night. <laughs> what? Yeah, Why? I, just, I just installed it on PC. I was just feeling it. That okay. Was, that was all it was. Just feeling it. You get the fucking most I random know. crazies. They're constant. I am an extremely impulsive man. That's true. But you follow your heart. I think sometimes just late at night or early in the morning, I just like don't want to be too invested in something. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, hype for Ghostwire. Definitely gonna play it. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Um, I did the preview for Ghostwire. Had a, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I've just done the first two chapters. Okay. For the preview, so. Oh yeah, I can give you Gundam update. Sure. Yeah. Good call, Red Sky. How much time do we have left? Um, probably like three minutes. Are we going to 10 or 11? 10. Oh, I'm fucked. I thought we were going to 11. I, think I wanted 10. to finish this. I think it's 10. I mean, you can go to 11. Pretty sure it's... Let me check. Oh, yeah. Hold on. First. I got, like, the top half of Death Sight done. Do you want to show anything off, or are you good? Um, your, all your I parts get, are all kind of, like, not put together yet. Once I get the once um, you put them together, chest done, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, I got to focus up. Focus up. Got to focus up. I mean, we can go a little bit longer since we started later. I'm hungry. I feel like I don't, yeah, I'm hungry, too. I don't. I feel like I don't have that much left. So oh, sure, I can, yeah. I can try to. I'm getting Raisin Cane's. Is there a Raisin Cane's near here? Here? No. Fuck. I, I mean, there's one maybe kind of where you are. I'm not sure I knew one. I'm not sure. I heard they got nerfed, though, so I'm very curious. Both Huber and Dominant told me they got nerfed. Oh. So. Oh. Yeah. 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 So it could be bad. I've only had Raisin Cane's once in my life, and it was awesome. Nice. So here it got nerfed. It's a bummer. Yeah. That's a damn shame. Zaxby's? No, I've never even heard of that. Chad, is Whataburger good? Dude, great question. Because it's, it's like a... I've always wondered that, too. I've never had it. It's like in the it's like south, south, right? Like Texas, Texas and yeah. stuff, yeah. Never had it. Damn! I would love to try Whataburger. It's okay. There's a, it's kind of what I thought. a streamer I really like. Uh, Nick Pollen is his name. He loves Whataburger. NMP? NMP, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. NMP is. Yeah. yeah. He's a very funny man. Nick and Molina, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kristen loves Molina. Yeah, they're both great. They're both great. Yeah, they're fun. They just fight all the yeah. time. <laughs> yep. 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 You guys gonna go to RTX? I don't think we would. I don't believe so. Seems like something that Isla would be more into. Mm-hmm. Or blood. The only things I want to go to are the fucking game events. You know what I would like to go to? Huh? A Final Fantasy 16 hands-on preview, please and thank you. Yeah. With Yoshi P himself. Yep. I wish Yoshi P would tuck me into bed at night. Yeah. I wish I could tuck him into bed at night. Go to sleep. Fair. Go, go to, to sleep, sleep Yoshi. Yeah. Honey Butter Biscuit from Whataburger 10. That sounds good. Honey Butter Biscuit. How many instruments can I play? Uh, I don't know. 
like two kind of kind of I'm not like a great musician that's about where I was yeah I could like I could kind play, of stuff. play too kind and of. I understand some things but like I don't really play that much is there Culver's in LA yet? I don't think so. No, uh, we had Culver's in Iowa though. I, I think Culver's is good. I don't like it as much as what is it? others. It's so they have like um, their burger. What's it called? The butter burger. It's just like a really greasy burger that yeah. they're known for. Cool. Yeah, they're, it's not bad. Cool, that's fine. You Some know, sometimes you don't need a ten out of ten. Absolutely, yes. You just want something quick. Something decent, sure. I feel like I make that compromise most of the time. With yes, you. yeah. Especially because we always leave at late, yeah. late hours. Not many options. Yeah. You know what though? I might get Sujita after this stream. Oh shit! You fucking maniac. Yeah, I might. Fucking do maniac. It. I might do it. Does Abby like Sujita? She loves Sujita. Cool. Because cool, cool, cool. if she didn't, we would not be together. Oh uh, yeah. Fair enough. Pretty enough. Yeah. Well, I just got distracted for about 20 minutes. Yep. It uh, happens. Uh, okay, I got this piece. Seven! Portillo's. Is it, is, doesn't Greg Miller love Portillo's? Uh, I believe never, so. I've never, I've never had, had it either. Yeah. I do like hot dogs, though. I do, too. I think hot dogs are actually underrated. Me, too, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I don't I say that and I like rarely ever have them, but when I do, I love hot them. dogs are so sick. Yeah. Hot dogs are like me and my dad and my brother like really like hot dogs. It's awesome. There's a Priscilla's in Anaheim. I had no idea. Oh in Anaheim? Okay. I feel like I go to Anaheim fairly regularly, so that's good to know. Okay. To like Disney and shit. Anaheim. Yep. 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 Yeah, I miss Disneyland. I haven't been in like three years. I miss it, dude. I went not that long ago. I ain't stupid yeah. shit. I gotta go. Never been to Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, dude, you should go. You yeah. should go once at least. Yeah. It's cool. It's not Disneyland. Don't. For sure, yeah. Like, like, no, I guess I, nothing is, but... Yeah. It's cool, dude. I feel like I would like it. There's a, a Six Flags, like, right next yeah. to my where I live that yeah, I've never yeah. been to. Oh, you've never been to that Six Flags? Never been to it. I've, I've lived... Dude! I've lived in the area for so Man, long, I've go. never been yeah, you there. you gotta go, yeah. dude. You gotta go. Go go on. Some cool rides there, dude. It's wild. Yeah. Go to Hurricane Harbor, too. Give it a spin. If it's still there. Don't know if it is. Water parks are so fun, dude. Man, I haven't been to a water park in yeah, same. a hot minute. There's none by me. The one that I used to go up to growing up a lot is gone. An easy field trip stream would be fun yeah, would if be we fun. had the tech for it. Which yeah, we, we need one of those streamer backpacks, yeah, dude. Yeah. Just pop that shit on Don. Oh my god. Don would be the perfect person yeah. to strap the backpack to. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Dude, Raging Waters, San Diego, I've been there like once and it was awesome. Man. Shit, we should have done a streamer backpack goal. Fuck. We should have. That would have been Fuck. a smart thing to do. Yeah. If we do streamer backpack, I feel like I have to take people to Sujita. Like, yeah, like dude. It's a moral obligation. So we'd have to do. You have to yeah. go everywhere. Yeah. Go to Fat Burger. Chat, you. It's so good. <laughs> Add it on right now. Oh, we got to talk to mommy and daddy about that. Can we buy this? Yeah. Super Nintendo World opens next year, I think. Oh, God. Fat Burger. I, Fat Burger's delicious, and I love Fat Burger a lot. Isla burned me out on Fat Burger. <laughs> yeah, every day. Fat every. Burger? I was. Yes. Every it was day. just all the time, yeah, Fat yeah, Burger. Yeah, yeah. And it's great. Yeah, it's it's, it's fantastic, but it's expensive. Dude. It is expensive. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, it was. It yeah, was going Fatburger out, was going a constant. Going out to lunch was weird. It was fun. Like, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> I know. I, I. It's like one of the biggest things I miss is going out to lunch with you guys. Yeah. Go McDonald's, dude. Yeah. Kyle and Kyle, shit. Kyle McDonald's for sure. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like McDonald's. Kyle loves McDonald's. Kyle loved McDonald's. Kyle loves McDonald's. He was McDonald's. down. Yeah. Elise would go with us to eat sometimes too. Yeah. Couldn't ever get Jones to go with us or no or Blood. I don't think I ever went out to lunch yeah. with Jones. Like never Jones. I don't think I, I maybe Blood a couple times. Never Jones though. Really. Yeah. Jones hated us, so that's why. Confirmed. Yeah. Oh man, Wendy's nuggets are the best. I Dude, love Wendy's. Spicy. For sure. Wendy's is one of my favorite fast Dude, I love spicy places. nuggets. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wow. Are you going to bring Kyle up and his chicken grease fingers? Did he have chicken grease fingers? I don't know. I have no idea. Wait, what? I don't know. I don't know the chicken finger thing. You fucking remember during Easy Living mm -hmm. when Kyle, like... Picked that massive. Oh, I will never forget that. Out of his ear. I will never forget that shit. That was so insane. That was insane. Yeah, that was insane. I'm like, Kyle, dude, hygiene. <laughs> I, it's like, when was the last time you cleaned your ears, dude? Like, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. It was fast. It was so. It was like some fucking Guinness world record shit. <laughs> and he was so and proud of it. He was so proud. He just showed it around. Yeah, he checked us out. It's like, what the fuck, Kyle? Kyle. Baby. Easy living was fucking wild, dude. Always so hot at those things, man. So the, hot. I feel like the first year was the worst. Or was it the second year that was the worst in terms of heat? I think the second year is when we didn't have AC. Oh, my God. Whatever year it was, it was that was miserable. Was that, our la was that the year with the... This was off camera at the end when we were doing the the chili peppers thing. Suck my kid. Oh like, was it that year? no 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 that okay. was after that was okay after, was after that the last one we did? I think so. Suck my kiss. Like clean like what the fuck was that? I don't that know. Like we we lost our minds. That yeah. was like some Huber syndrome shit. It was yeah. Huber was certainly involved. Yeah, of course yeah, he was. Yeah. The one we did at Bubble Island, which was kind of near me. I don't think that was the hot one. That was like one of our first one. I think that was our first Wasn't one. Wasn't the one where we did the Tekken tournament at the end? Wasn't that the hot one? I don't think so, I dude. don't fucking know. No, dude. Okay, the hot one I think was when we were near San Diego more. Like further south. I think that was the hot one, dude. Because that the one about Ball Island, I don't remember being the hot one. I think it was the one at San Diego. Like San Diego area. Because it's further south than me. Easy living is like just losing your mind on camera. Yeah, easy living is fucking insane, it's chat. It's insane, yeah. It's insane. That Tekken tournament was something. Yeah, it was something. Instant memories of Porky Pig. Yeah, that was fucking weird, that game. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I walked into, like, a stoner den, dude, of, like, people just selling mushrooms or some shit. Yeah. Like, Kyle yeah. losing his fucking mind. I think Huber was freaking out. Oh, God. One of the, one of the best easy living moments in all time, Stone Cold Classic, was Damiani playing Mario Sunshine. This is the troll part. <laughs> oh, it was so I think I went fucking to sleep good. In that part. <laughs> yeah, Tommy on you unhinged in playthroughs. Guy's a madman. Nope. Nope game. How many hey, days were there? You remember, like three days? You remember when Damiani killed Nero? Yes, dude, I do. Yeah, the Shrek playthrough. I was excited for Shrek. And dude. That game sucked so bad, I, like, left. <laughs> I think I was just done. I was like, no, nah, fuck this shit. This game sucks. Yeah, sh Shrek... Because I, I watched it for a while, too, 
It wasn't even like it's so bad it's good. It yeah, was just exactly. Bad it was just boring. fucking lame. Yeah, it was. Just, it was truly fucking lame. Yeah. We had a good Mario Party stream. I remember, you, me, Huber, and Kyle was good. Oh man, it's so blurry when I think back. For sure. There's too many games, dude. I can't keep track. DGD means doing good, Damiani. Doing good, Damiani. I wish I could have seen that live. That was not one I saw. Yeah, I was not there. Sadly. Essentially, you're doing good. That's essentially what it means. Yeah. You're doing good. Ah, oh, man, this sticker could be lined up better. Fuck. Fuck! Actually, hold on. Is this going the other way? Uh oh. That was almost bad. That was yeah, saved. That, saved. I heard that. Saved. Saved. I always thought it was damn good, Damiani. That's also good. That's good. That is good. I, I agree. Does anybody still play Monopoly? You know, are y'all some sharks at it? We haven't played Monopoly in a long time because Monopoly is a commitment. Yes. I love Monopoly. I wouldn't say I'm good at it, though. No. You just fucking buy everything yeah. every turn and hope you get lucky. I do I do enjoy it, though. I yeah, really like fun it. with Monopoly. Yeah, we should... Maybe next time we do stream. Yeah, we'll man, we have it. not done Monopoly in a while. That would be... I think everyone just kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Like we did. Yeah, I think we kind of forgot about it. What am I... Doing something wrong with this head. Does Monopoly or Mario Party require more skill? I'd say Mario Party. I would say Monopoly. <laughs> you gotta like win some mini games in Mario Party. Monopoly just feels like all chance mostly. I guess you can cut some deals, which is a skill in itself. This is so strange. Why is this piece like this? Why? 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 Why, Why do this? Why so serious? Yeah, I don't know what the deal with the Pop Boy is. Yeah, maybe you could buy these. I legit thought you were talking about like a druggy friend. Oh yeah, you can buy a Pothead the friend pot, probably. The pot Boy. Pothead friend. I don't know what the deal is with the Pot Boy. He's gotta get his shit together. All he does is sit on his stoop. This is the last thing, and I it's its a roadblock. I don't um, know what's going on. What went wrong? What happened? What happened? Up at 4 a.m. for work. Hello, lads. What's Hello, up, dude? Hello, Spirit Formula. Good luck at work today, man. Have a nice day. Why is this laptop blasting off into space? I don't know. What are you doing? You think um, Miyazaki would be on Frame Trap? I would love it. I would give my left nut for it. <laughs> I 
I do not understand why this is fucked. Who do you think in the game industry we could realistically get on Prime Trap? Realistically? Yeah. Probably more people than I think. Um, like, you want developers or... Yeah, developer first. Developers. Who do you think we could get? I, I would say we have a much better chance with any Western developer than... Barlog? Maybe. I definitely think it, that Barlog Maybe. is a possibility. Um, Maybe game developers don't like us. Could be. I bet we could get Sony Santa Monica people. Hmm. Or like... Um, why am I blanking on their name? Obsidian? No. Well, maybe Obsidian as well. Um, the people who did Ghost of Tsushima, why am I blanking? Sucker Punch. Oh, Sucker Punch. Yeah. Shuhei likes us? I think Shuhei likes some of us. I don't even know if Shuhei knows me and Ben exist. You're probably true, yeah. Probably true. Jeff Keighley also doesn't know me and Ben exist. Um, Jeff Keighley would be an interesting I've, check. I've, talk, I've talked I've to, talked to Keighley, Keighley like yeah. once. Yeah, I've talked to Keighley. I, he was nice. He probably does not remember me. No. So therefore, no. he probably does not remember that I exist. He was nice, though, That's when true. I talked to him. Yeah. He absolutely is, is a nice, nice lad. Uh, I don't know, man. We pro we <laughs> we probably have next to no reach or influence. <laughs> oh, for sure, we can't even get Nintendo games early. No, we can't. We yeah, don't got no, shit. <laughs> no, one, no one gives a shit about this. Like, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, Greg Miller knows who we are. I think Huber's I been I've and Jones never were all kind of funny. Greg I talked to Greg Miller and Tim. I talked they to were Tim. very nice to me. Yeah, I, I, actually, Tim yeah. Chill. Yeah, at least Williams, dude, right out of a new Ghostbuster game. Yeah. Yeah, it must be nice. Yeah, I was on kind of funny's thing when they were here. Fish Elden Ring, 133 hours played, and I wish to God it wasn't over. What I... do I even do with my free time now? Just play it again. Go again. New build, baby! Yeah, go again. Uh-oh. You would think I wouldn't clip it Oof. over the ground. Woof! You think I would clip it over the table. You think that would be a smart thing yeah, to whoops. do? Found easy because Jones got on Kind of Funny's podcast and talked about camping. That's from Servorn, our a special mod. Wow. I'm pretty sure when it comes to collabs, the outlets are like, don't invite the weed. Yeah. Yeah. We're kind of black sheep, I guess. Yep. Certainly not the most, but. Ben from Min Max and Frame Trap would be so cool. I've never talked to Ben Hansen. I've talked to him once. Uh, also but he nice. seems like a very nice Also dude. nice. Yes. He's welcome anytime. Get an LA Kings player. <laughs> yeah, let's Man. get Rich Evans, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. This looks good, except for that fucking sticker. Yeah. Oh yeah, Max has been nice. You had him on Frame Trap, right? I have had him on Frame Trap, yeah. Just gotta wait for a fighting game to come out. Or Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. Yeah, who's Grease and Palms for EZA now? Mostly Blood, I guess. Blood's like our communication to Debs and stuff. I would love to have Rich Evans on the Yeah, podcast. that'd be awesome. Oh my god, I would die. Any of the Red Letter Media guys. They... they I love them. Yeah. But the, yeah, they, they would never, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch's been on Frame Trap. Also good guy. Multiple times, yeah. Great. I know Fantastic someone person. who I think would be good on Frame Trap maybe one time. He works at um, GameSpot now, but he's in L.A. Oh, who is he? Uh, his name's Dave Klein. He was actually like a Souls creator first. Oh. He did a lot of Souls videos. He's really nice. Don't know him. Yeah, he's cool. 
Are you going to try Testament and Strive next week? I would like to. I don't know if... Well, I'll be out of town next week. So probably not next week. But I would like to try Testament and Strive. Oh, there's some bitch. Hey, Mitch. We all know Frame Trap is the true Easy A podcast. True. It is. You know it. I know it. We all know it. We all know it. Yeah, I'm sure Xavier Woods would be great. Obviously, Kenny Omega would be awesome, too. It's a big Resident Evil dude. Or Capcom dude in general. Dude, most Kenny Omega games. would be sick. Yeah. Maybe we should just, like, reach out. I mean, Maybe, it's your show, yeah. so it's up to you. Oh, of course. I am I am bad at reaching out, uh, admittedly. I just... I fucking... I mean, you don't have Twitter. That's like a lot of it's already... I don't have Twitter. I don't want Twitter. I'll have to be um, your proxy. When I go to gaming events, like, I've seen so many, like, high-profile people in the industry. I just don't... I just don't like networking, which is... Yeah, that's not my <laughs> struck suit either. I just don't like it. Like, I'm such a... It's bad, but yeah. I'm, I just, I'm just like... I would that's like to show up. Jones, I would like dude. to play the game. Jones and I would like was, to talk about Jones it. Jones was the yeah. fucking best at that. I, I hate networking. Yeah, I'm not very. Yeah, I usually just want to play the game. Yeah, exactly. You and I are in the on the same page. Yeah. I just want to play the game, which is a problem. But actually, Blood's really good at that. I was good at that. Yours pretty good at that. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree there all. I would say I was really good at uh -huh. it for sure. Adam Cole, yeah, Adam Cole would be so sick. Uh, I went to a movie and Lawrence was part of the group once. I didn't really talk to him. I feel like we would get along, though. Oh, like a f former Funhouse Lawrence? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I feel like we'd get along. Yeah, he, sure. He's just a weeb, too, so I'm sure we'd be fine. <laughs> All right. Dude, nice, I think I'm gonna give up. That's sick. I think I'm going to give up on the sticker for right now. Yeah, just keep it chill, bro. It looks pretty good outside of the sticker. The sticker is bad. Jason Vandenberg? And I want to fix it. Is there, like, a tool you can buy to make Stickers separating Stickers? Gundam pieces easier? Oh, probably. Dude. There's probably some high-tech shit. That would be sick. I would like that. Yeah. There's probably some high-tech shit. All right, shit. Chad, I'll show you where I... It's pretty much done. I'm sorry the sticker sucks. Luke? Luke Arnold? Luke Arnold French would be great. He's uh, a great he's, guy. Yeah. He's an Aussie, so he's not around too much. We haven't talk, I haven't talked to Luke in a while. Yeah, you were really close with him. Yeah. He's he's an awesome dude. I played D&D with him. Yeah, he's super great. That's really cool. Yeah. He's probably so good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit. He'd probably be yeah. so good. Professional actor, dude. Wow. Are you showing the goof? I'll show him the goof. Show the goof, dude. The goof troop. Don't make fun of the sticker chat. Oh yeah, Ash is fun to have on for sure. Yeah, I love I love Ash. Yeah. Yeah. Have we have you ever had Donald Frame Trap? You have, right? Yeah. I'd I wish he'd have. do it more. He's great on it. The, oh, that's looking good, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's Ooh, looking baby. good. Real good. Chess piece? Well, the chess piece might need some work. That's Should I have a tier on Patreon for a one time frame trap appearance? I mean, it's just to get people. Like, do you mean like a fan or like a, someone in the industry? Or, I don't know what you mean. And it's just like, sometimes we just got to do frame trap where we, where we can do it. Yep. Kind of thing. Yep. As you can tell, our, we're hectic. Scatterbrain. Yes. Um, oh, there's some more stickers to put on, too. Okay. Not you can complete, put on the stickers. But... Yeah, put them on. No, I'm... Shrapnel. I've reached the, my end, I the think. Ten Shrapnel, thank you. Thank you very much. I would, I would be perfectly content if, like, Brad and Heifer were on every episode of Frame Trap. I would have no issues. 
Yeah, Freight Trap's an, a really fun show to do. It's yeah. honestly one of my favorite things to do at Easy Allies. Because, like, I I honestly talk to Huber a lot about games because we carpool a lot together and stuff. Right. But it's, like, Ben's, like, right on the level with us. So it's always fun to talk. Yeah, it is. It's a blast. Uh, thank you, Shrap. Yeah, I thank you. I don't know if I already you. said that, but... Aris on Frame Trap? Holy shit, that'd be intense. <laughs> Dude, Aries on Frame Trap would be fucking unhinged. Who said that? I don't know. That would be the most unhinged episode ever. I. It would be amazing. It would be the best episode we ever did. But he would never do it. He would never do it. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're cool enough for Aries, yeah. but my, he is so funny. Oh, my God. He, <laughs> he just spends his stream just, just making fun of chat. <laughs> it's so yeah, he likes to talk shit, which I admire. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, man, I'll get shot for sure. Hey, shoot that guy. This is a light. This is an official Bandai Namco product. The Pop Boy, my most, our most prized possession, I should say, as a, as a company. Like, what's better that we have? Nothing. Like, I'd give up anything in this room for that pop boy. Yeah, I would. I'd Hot do it. boy. Give up lightning? I'd give up lightning. In a heartbeat. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Chat, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, good stuff. This is the end of day three. Day three. Can Tomorrow uh, at noon is going to be an episode of Mysterious Monsters. I believe that will be live streamed, I assume. I believe it will be. It's a good time. Then at 2 p.m., Damiani and Huber are going to be playing Stranger of Paradise. So that'll be fun. That'll be super fun. That'll I be hope, fun. I hope they're starting a new game. Uh, probably. Then let's see what's after that. Uh... The podcast will be live, I think, for the, the tier. I forgot what the tier is. Is it $20 and up? I think I it is. Know. A little behind the scenes action. I'm not sure if the whole podcast, I think the whole podcast will be live. I'm not sure though. You gotta ask Blood and Isla about that shit. I also think it's something that we're gonna try to do. Yeah, but we're gonna try. Yeah, we don't know Yeah, for sure. I'll be off tomorrow, thank God. I got more work to do still. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, rushing fishing after that at 7 p.m. with Isla, Dawn, and Blood. So that'll be pretty insane. So get ready for that crazy shit. Pretty insane. Then that'll be the end of day four. Then Friday is going to be a long day with everybody. Yeah. All hands on deck. Big day. Big, big day. day. Big day. Big day. Big day. We're going to go eat some food chat. Yep. Have a good rest of your evening or morning or afternoon or whatever. Um, you've been wonderful, and we'll see you later. See you, everybody. Praise the pot boy. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. <laughs>